Grogu, I am your father. So the overall design is inspired by the Mandalorian Razorcrest spaceship. And as you can see right there on the side, since if you haven't seen the show, that was blown up. And we got Din Jaren's name here on the bike. And of course, the child. He gets to ride up here in the front. Have a good time. Hang on there, buddy. It's going to be a wild ride. All right. So he's set for the Clunker Challenge ride, along with his little ball. There you go, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna kind of do a quick walk through some of the stuff I've done to the bike, and we'll um, do a little bit of the weathering last minute. We got a nice springy seat right there for some suspension. I got some. Uh, Cooling fins on the rear coaster brake, same stock tire and rims, quick release clamp, and a Star Wars-y looking seat post there. We got a Shimano XT crank repainted in the Mandalorian style paint job, chipped silver base with the black and then yellow chipped. And I found this SRAM chain ring to put in there and it lines up pretty darn perfect, as you can see, like that, okay. All right, this unit, I bought it off some Jawas in the, uh, on Tatooine, and they promised me that it would add at least 30 miles per hour extra speed. I'm kind of hoping it does more than that because I need to be able to outrun the sand people and the uh, crate dragons. We got the turbine up here, and uh, we got some shock absorbers here. We um, picked this up from the uh, Intergalactic Walmart from a complete bicycle. Let's talk about the paint job a little bit. So this is a uh, Rust-Oleum paint here with some yellow sprayed out bike stripes. And the way I get all this cool chipping is by uh, putting down liquid latex on the masking. And then when I peel off the masking, I peel off the latex and the um, paint comes off in this cool pattern here. Wish I had it on video, but all right. So here we go. A little bit more here on the bottom side. Trying not to get too much rusty color in there. good news is if you get too much on and if you act fast you can get most of it off but don't smudge it on the other parts of your bike unless you really want it there and most of the time it actually all you really want is kind of a residue all right I think that looks pretty good. The speeder bikes from Return of the Jedi. Normally it hangs down below the bottom of that speeder bike you see. And this one though kind of just mounts inside. Bought it off some Jawas. Alright, I think that looks alright. And there you have it. Razor Crest 2, inspired by the Mandalorian. Oh. Well, at least you can see, like, a little bit. A little bit. Pedal hard, Get babe. over handsome. Jay, Come scoot back.
I'm done. It's a party. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm shortness of breath right now, so it's harder than the last one. <laughs> significantly longer. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, walking the trail. Higher or lower C? What'd you do, Aaron? Uh, I went up higher. That was a big question. Blow my mind. Hey, like, hello. A lot more pedaling. Like yeah, the whole that. trail was like, this would be crazy, but man. Right. Inner tube, higher pressure. On the rock, he's like, oh, my body! <laughs> yeah. Is there a little more pedaling like this a lot? Meaning, all right, I'm going. Higher. I'm still grabbing for the... I just tried to ratchet there for anybody who's watching.
Nice. Here comes another one. It's like these bikes were built for this. I know. 